first at five. Despite economic uncertainty, Canoe's electric vehicle battery plant is gearing up for business. We told you the facility will be at the Mid-America Industrial Park in Pryor. Two News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer explains how Oklahomans could benefit from it. The CEO of Canoe says they're going to be the innovators here in Oklahoma. In fact, the EV I'm sitting in right now is about 95% American-made. It's something they pride themselves in doing. Mid-America Industrial Park's newest prize possession, Canoe's battery module manufacturing facility, electrical vehicles. Houston Britton may be with the Pryor Area Chamber now, but he'll always be a Pryor resident first. The economic development and growth that will come from that and the, the jobs, and so we're very excited. I'm very excited. 110 jobs to be exact, according to CEO Tony Aquila, and 100 more by 2024. I think the jobs that are here in this part of eastern Oklahoma are organic uh, to people that could really adopt to it. Um, is our view. This promising news comes near a time of disappointing news when Volkswagen decided to build its electric vehicle plant in Canada instead of Mid-America Industrial Park. Senator James Linkford stopped by to spread some forward momentum. And some folks are going to choose us and some folks don't. Okay. We're going to keep doing things well. We're going to keep doing the right thing. And we'll keep setting the standard on it in the days ahead. And we told you last year, Canoe reported a more than $125 million net loss in first quarter earnings. It put a giant question mark as to whether or not they'd still come to Pryor. I asked Aquila how they pushed through. And that's why we're going over these long-term contract type approach with, with the government. And we just recently announced our entry into the Middle East. Those are actually high growth environments right now, while the rest of the world is, is dealing with the effects of a uncertain you know, economic condition. Staff say they plan to start hiring here in June. They are, however, looking for people that can handle this kind of equipment. They say it can be dangerous. So in the application process, they're going to be looking for certain characteristics. In prior, Justin Ayer, 2 News, Oklahoma.